Hi everyone, I'm down at the boat today. We've got a number of fenders on the boat. We've had them for about 10, maybe 12 years or so. And a lot of them, either you can't pump up anymore, so they need air, but you can't pump up, or they just keep losing air. So we've got one just here. This is a typical example where you may or may not be able to hear it, maybe if I hold it against there, where the valve just isn't holding air. These valves are quite simple and they do a good job most of the time, but you do get to a point when uh, if your fender needs some air, then maybe it's time to actually change the valve. So I'm going to show you what you need today just to change the valve on, on this one. So it's a fairly simple process which anyone can do. Um, the valves are quite easily available. I bought, uh, I bought five valves for our fenders um, and that cost me about £10 or so. There's various places you can buy them. Um, I bought ours from a place called Sheridan Marine in the UK and they were, uh, they, they were about £10 or so for five valves, so not expensive at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what you need and uh, how easy it is to change the valves. So the things that you need to change the valve are, th these are the new valves, uh, so that's the new valve there. Um, this is actually quite important, it's just a three millimetre screw or uh, bolt. Um, this one actually is about uh, 25 millimetres long or so. We needed one that long to actually go right down. Uh, if the valve uh, isn't uh, right, stuck right down into the, the fender, you don't, you don't need it that long. This is actually an adapter which I bought at the same time. Um, that is so that you can actually pump the valves up. A lot of people get confused as to what you need to, to pump the valves up. Um, this basically is just a three mil thread um, going onto a standard Schrader valve. Um, and the other thing you need is just a, a pair of pliers. One of the first things that you need to do is take the old valve out. All you do is you get your three mil bolt, screw that into the old valve, um, and then using your pliers, um, just pull the old valve out. So that's the old valve, and uh, that just leaves the, the fender ready for your new valve. And pop that there for now. You don't need to use this for the new valve I will just pop that in um, so all you do is you pop that into the valve and then just press it in just so that it seats in nicely um, so that's probably far enough doesn't have to go all the way in it does give a good seal anyway so once you've got your new valve in uh, you need to pump it up now you can use a hand pump foot pump whatever sort of pump you want um, so what I've actually got, I just brought down a, a pump like this just to pump it up. Um, that's where this comes in. Now, as I say, you don't need to have this. A lot of people just pump these up just by using a, a pump over the top of, of the valve. And it, it does pump it up okay, but I bought one of these anyway, just while I was ordering some stuff. So that's a three mil thread which goes in. I'll just hold that like that. And let's see if we can get some air into this. And that's it, that's, that's all you need to do. Um, just take that off. And def definitely that's a good seal now. There's no air leaking out and the, uh, the fender is all nice and pumped up, so ready to protect the boat.